So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so simply click on start lab and open the console incognito window now here you may get some kind of pop-up click on i agree and agree and continue the next step is that first of all you have to activate the cloud shell and enable some of the apis let me show you how you have to do it now here click on continue and after that you have to authorize yourself so here once the cloud shell is ready okay now from here first of all let me increase the font size now you can come to this task basically this one set up and requirements copy the api name just go to api services and library paste the api name over here hit enter click on it and just click on enable it will take few seconds after that api will be enabled and we will move forward to the next step once the api is enabled activate the cloud shell come to the lab instruction first of all run this command also here we will be requiring the uh, notepad you can use online notepad or personal notepad which is present on windows so just wait for this to complete and then we will just modify some of the files so just open the notepad and just follow as i am doing so now we have to just initiate the host so for that open the notepad come over here copy this okay so just copy it add the extra space which i am adding now from here we have to just add the host name also so just follow as i am doing copy this url paste it select it and just run over here so you get this kind of output now we have to modify it again okay come over here paste the same thing now remove this my sql colon double slash and from here also we have to remove basically from the last part we have to remove something more that is basically this and this too so now just select entire content and just paste on the cloud shell okay let me show you how you have to do it i am doing this lab slowly because this lab requires a dedicated effort so just hit enter now finally this is done now here you can see a the ip is here copy it and just paste on your notepad you have to double click on this you'll get this copy it now it will be required in the next step first of all run the curl command over here now once it is completed you have to just come over here and just configure it so here it's asking for access key which is present on the lab instructions so for that come to the lab manual you can see here copy it carefully paste it hit enter similarly for this also copy it paste hit enter now default region which is present on the lab instruction you have to just check it this in your case it might be different so copy accordingly and hit enter now here we don't have any default output format so what you can do you can simply hit the enter option okay do not type anything just hit enter so the output format changes to default mode only here you can clearly see we have done this step now we have to create a data migration connection profile and then we have to run the migration job so just search this and open it you can minimize the cloud shell because we don't require right now now here you can see connection profiles click on this then click on create profile now for the profile role you have to select source or destination whichever is mentioned on the lab currently it's mentioned source which i am showing you how you can find it you can see here it show source now it's the this one amazon rds now for the name copy the name from here copy the name and then host name what is the host name the ip which we copied just now okay 
so first of all let me update the port name username and pass also update the region okay you have to update the region now come to the notepad make sure you have copied earlier paste it and all these things are fine now here we have to mostly update the region okay so here you can see if you are unable to find the ip you can just come above and find it okay i am not going to that much deep i hope you have followed the video and you have copied the ip earlier copy it and if you haven't done repeat the previous repeat the video again and just to generate the same ip over here now here you have to copy this and paste on the basically connection profile url sorry connection profile dashboard so just come over here and here you can see the region is also there so just update the region like this it might be different in your case you have to update accordingly now here you can see all things are correct click on create it will take few time few seconds or up to a minute then just wait finally the connection profile is now ready now just check the score for task number two you'll get the score without any issue now we have to create a migration job okay many of you are asking how to enable the yellow check my progress you can check the video description how to enable it now click on migration jobs now here on the top you can see create migration job click on it now from here job name is here copy it carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot now you update the engine update the region and it's one type okay not continuous one type so just click on save and continue now connection profile we just now created one connection profile you have to select that from the drop down you can see okay and after that we have to simply click on save and continue just click on save and continue here you can see we have to create a destination now for the destination id copy the name carefully for pass they have mentioned and now here we have to check the version also they update regularly now here many of you may face some kind of issues first of all update the public ip and here we have to remove the private ip checkbox okay which is present on the top so here many of you may face issue while setting up the machine type that is basically one cpu okay you have to first of all remove the private ip and then come to down over here and when you'll try to see the machine type you'll be able to see that we are not getting one cpu type so how you can fix it let me show you okay you can see here this one okay so here you can see two cpus here and there is no option to select basically one cpu so how you can do it first of all here you can see all these things are available on the settings we have to update the ssd storage to 10 gp also so how you can fix it i am telling you first of all if you try to see there is no option now here you have to just update the version from cloud sql edition to enterprise only first of all let me increase the storage and then we have to just check for this so you have to come above and then simply update the version basically this one okay which i am talking about this so just select it now you can see i share this because many of you may make this kind of mistake okay update it to this also here all things are done now just click on save and continue create and destination and continue now connectivity method will be ip allow list click on it now this will take at least 15 to 20 minutes or even more so you need to wait for some time okay you need to wait for some time and then you'll be able to move to the next step i repeat this will take 10 to 15 minutes or even more so you need to wait for some time so finally waiting for so much time 
now the outgoing ips are ready now here we have to just test the job and just start the job so here you'll face some kind of error so how you can fix it i'm going to show you do not worry meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe it and like the video first of all you have to remove this unwanted pop-up and just click on this copy all and just copy all the both the outgoing ips because we'll be requiring it and sometimes you may face some kind of issues while running a command so just copy all in your notepad and just move ahead with the next step so let me show you how you have to do it on copy all come over here hit enter and just do it like this okay make sure both are separated you can write anything for identifying now click on save and continue it will again take some time now here you have to run the test job now here sometimes what happens the test job fails in that case you don't have to panic or worry you have to just follow the video carefully and you'll get 100 out of 100 without any issues just follow the video carefully to the retest job and uh, if you get still there do not worry i'll tell you how you can resolve it so we again got the failure status do not worry okay do not worry do no need to go to the source and change anything because all the things are already correct okay so here all the things are already correct we don't have to make any other modification it's internal issue from the cloud end so now we will just force start the job okay first start the job and how we have to do you have to come to again to the test page click on it and just scroll down click on create and start job now it will just start it now here also sometimes what happens the job will fail so do not panic at all it will again you can just rerun the job which i am showing you because i faced error i am lucky that i faced error so that i can show you the potential error which we face in this lab okay so here you can see it's starting and after some time it will show status has failed what we have to do we have to just open here and if you try to check the score you won't get the score for other task but here we got the score okay now here we have to just copy the ip address one by one sometimes what happens we do not get the score for this first ip in that case we have to run the second ip now here just copy the sg basically sgid copy it and here you can see we got this failed error so just click on start again and just wait for it to get completed and started okay so while it's starting you can also run the code over here copy it paste and hit enter now here you can see we'll get this kind of output now here as it is starting so you need to wait for some time so here earlier it was showing starting only now it will be updated to running and once it is shows completed then we will be able to move to the next step so here you can see the job is started currently okay so now we have to run the cloud shell command so which command we have to run the same one come over here and if you try to check the ip allow list you get this kind of error in such case you can see we got two ips okay so we have to use the second ip uh, if you are not getting the score with the first ip so come to the notepad and here let me show you first of all okay this one second one just copy it carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot if by mistake if you add any extra space like this use the backspace select entire content come to the cloud shell page paste it hit enter and here you get this kind of output now once you get the output come over here check the score you can see we got the score now we have done almost 80 percent of the lab and here we need to wait for the status to show completed currently it's running so just wait for it meanwhile you can check the last task also 
Now one more important thing I wanted to share that if you are not getting score on last task, do not worry or complete the video. So just wait and here it's showing running, wait for it to get completed. It may take 10 to 15 minutes or even more for this to get completed. So kindly wait for some time and do like the video and subscribe the channel also. So now here you can see the running status is just updating to complete it. So finally we are done with this task also. So we have to come to the lab instruction and check the score for this particular task. So let's come to the lab instruction and one more important thing if you are able to get 100 out of 100 then you can simply end the lab and if you are not getting 100 out of 100 for the last task I will show you how you have to do it. So just check the score for task number 6 and if you got the score for task number 7 which is basically if you see 100 out of 100 then you can simply end the lab oh sorry 100 not 60 out of 60 okay so here we have to just do this step manually you have to open the sql page first of all on the search box just type sql and hit enter now just select the first one Now here you can see this my SQL dash cloud SQL click on it scroll down a bit and just click on open in cloud shell hit enter we are getting this kind of thing so use control plus C okay now just open it and still getting error just copy this paste it and enter now here one more important thing i wanted to share that when you try to paste the password it won't be visible many people comment that i am unable to paste the password you have to simply paste the password it won't be shown over here okay so just paste it and hit enter and just do as i am doing okay so just wait now here you have to paste this one and hit enter now it will look like this okay remember that password won't be visible okay so once you have done this thing just wait and run the following command so here you have to do like this and you'll definitely get the score in case you haven't got it so that's the way we have to complete the lab to like the video and subscribe the channel other labs are available check playlist